What is up everybody? We're all the way in Langkawi today and we're checking out the all new Toyota Vios. Now this is the preview, but by the time you're watching this, the car would have been launched already. The Vios comes in two variants now, the E and the G, and right behind me is the range topping G variant in spicy scarlet red. Let's check it out. Before we go on, let's have a bit of a recap of the Toyota Vios. So it is in its fourth generation now and the Vios has been in Malaysia since way back in 2003. The second generation came in 2007 and the third generation was introduced in 2013. That third generation was given two facelifts but the reality is that the same platform has been in use for close to 10 years now. So it is about time for a revamp. Before the introduction of this fourth generation here, 3.5 million units of the Vios have been sold globally. So it is quite the successful compact saloon. And of that 3.5 million units sold, over 505,000 units were from Malaysia alone. And according to Toyota, the Vios has been the best-selling non-national B-segment saloon in Malaysia since 2003. So the fourth generation Vios here is built with young families as its main target and young single males as its secondary target. The new platform of the Vios promises better handling, better comfort and better NVH. The car also aims to be affordable, comfortable and proudful, whatever that means. Well, the Vios certainly has some big ambitions and we are here in Langkawi to check it out. Let's carry on with it. The new Vios now sits on an all new platform and naturally with that comes an all new look which I personally think looks so much better than the previous generation. Now there are two variants of the Vios, the E and the G. The G is the range topping one and this is the G variant. Headlights are LED headlights with follow me home function which is standard for the G and E. And there's a nice strip that runs along the sides here and this is the LED DRL. Now there's a vent on the front bumper and this is not fake. It does send air to the wheels. So there, the holes are present here. Grill is large and reminiscent of the GR cars from Toyota. A good look and generally the front end has a hammerhead shark-like design which is what you see in the BZ4X and the BZ3. Moving on, well, the windscreen has this twin camera setup, which is part of the ACC, all the safety items, and right beside it is a dash cam, which comes as standard for the E and G. Interestingly, there's also an RFID sticker on the Vios G. Wheels are 17 inches in size for the G variant, 16 inches in size for the E variant. Tires are a set of Continental Premium Contact C Tires 205, 50, 17. Brakes, disc brakes, suspension, McPherson strut suspension. And if we look closer at the wheel well, to we'll find that the vents at the front are indeed not fake. Underneath the side mirror is a camera, part of the 360 degree camera. And at the bottom is a side skirt part of the aero kit which is standard look at the vios from the side and you'll notice the fastback profile at the rear you do get disc brakes and uh, a torsion beam suspension setup if you'd like to differentiate between the e and the g variants one telltale sign is that the g gets these chrome pieces for the window and these are black on the e variant at the rear, you do get a horizontal LED taillight design which has a nice family look. The taillights do not extend all the way to the emblem but there is a black trim that sits between the taillights to create a similar illusion. Like the front and side, the aero kit extends to the back and you get these skirts at the back and this canard-like item for aero purposes. There's also a trunk lid spoiler. You might also notice that the Vios has a third brake light with a clear cover. And
and this is to create a clean look for the rear windscreen. The keys to the all-new Vios look like this and if you press unlock once, you only unlock the driver door, press it again and you will unlock all doors. Of course, the Vios also comes with keyless entry. Come inside and it is a totally new interior, which I think looks so much more premium than it used to. So there's a nice brown trim on the dashboard and that is uh, also seen on the door panels. So let's start the car. And you're greeted by this 7-inch TFT display for the G variant. And it's a 4.2-inch display for the E variant. And uh, I'm sure this looks very familiar to you. Speedometer is a large digital one on the right-hand side. Head unit comes with wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay. Also on the screen is a 360 view of the car. A lot of views here. And since the car is red, well, it's red here, but you can adjust the color of the car. The car also comes with a digital video recorder or a dash cam. And the front one is standard. There's also another one at the back, but uh, this one is optional. There's a sunglasses holder here. Aircon controls are automatic for the G variant and uh, manual for the E variant. Move down and here's your gear lever. Gear lever, since the center console has been raised, it is much closer to the steering wheel. So nice ergonomics here. It's also a knee pad on the center console. Move down, here's the EPB, the parking brake, which has a auto hold function. And this button here is for the ambient lighting, which is actually only present on the storage tray and here. Only two parts have this ambient lighting, so to speak. So if you press this, it's more like a wheel. I'm pressing the button right now, and if you see, it is rotating through 64 color options. Armrest, also it's a, in a very nice position, thanks to the high center console. And if you are uh, resting your elbows on the armrest, it's, uh, it's not a much of a travel. Armrest storage, well inside here you do get a wireless charger with a clip here. The seats are on the softer side of things but not too plush. The upper part of the backrest is made much narrower than the bottom part to allow more light from the front to reach the second row passengers. Back to the driver position, now a new addition to the all new Vios is that now you get telescopic steering adjustment. Telescopic steering adjustment is only for the G variant. The E variant only comes with tilt adjustment. On the steering wheel, I'm sure these uh, buttons, these control buttons look familiar to you. So you get this set here to control your instrument cluster, volume control, controls for your ACC here. And on the right side here, there is a button that says drive. Now this is the drive mode button selector. To the side here, well, you do get buttons to control your auto high beam, headlight levels, traction control, parking sensors, and the uh, forward collision warning. Underneath it, well, there is a small compartment. Could fit your touch and go card, but not a smart tag. And if you're curious about the uh, storage space on the doors, you can fit a small bottle in here like cars sitting on this platform, uh, it does get an interesting cup holder, which you see here. So it's pretty nicely integrated into the design. There's also another cup holder for the passenger side, but this one is not pushed to eject, so you gotta pull it out, and there you go. Glove box, well, that's how big it is. Not too big, well, you can fit a wall key in here. Coming to the second row and one of the first things you'll notice is that headroom is a little bit tight. So I'm not that tall myself, but I only have like three or four fingers of space between my head and the ceiling. Everything else is pretty good though, especially this bench, which has a good length and a good angle. 
So your thighs are very well supported. Leg room is also decent. You do get aircon vents for the second row and underneath the aircon vents are two charging ports. So you get a USB type A socket and a USB type C socket. As for storage space in the second row, you do get a pocket behind the driver's seat and another one behind the front passenger seat. Cup holders are only available on the doors since the all new Vios doesn't come with a center armrest. Now, we did ask the chief engineer of the Vios as to why this was not made available. And his answer was that this was to prioritize comfort for the middle passenger. Speaking of which, there is also a concave on the center console to make space for the middle passenger's feet. You might also notice that there is now a center tunnel in the all new Vios, and this is to reduce the weight of the car and also increase its rigidity. You might not notice this just by looking at these seats, but they now no longer fold down flat. And of course, we did ask why this feature was taken out. Answer was simply that most users didn't make full use of the feature anyway. And with the folding seat function taken out, the car is 10 kilograms lighter. For the trunk, you do get an electric release for the tailgate and inside the boot is a total of 475 liters of space and since the rear seats don't fall down 475 liters is as maximum as it gets look up here and you do get a light underneath the boot floor is no spare wheel and we did ask the engineers why this has been done and they simply said that they want to provide more storage space for the Vios owners. You do get a tire repair kit though for the uh, Vios and perhaps the 17 inch wheels are just a bit too big to fit underneath the boot floor. The all new Toyota Vios is still powered by a 1.5 litre naturally aspirated engine and it now makes 106 horsepower and 138 newton meters of torque, one horsepower and two newton meters less than what it used to be. But even so, the car actually feels lighter on its feet and it's probably due to the fact that the car is in fact lighter, weighing at just a bit over a tonne. And speaking of the weight, this has also improved the handling of the all-new Toyota Vios. You can chuck it around, and the car doesn't struggle too much. High-speed late changing, braking from high speeds is just confidence assuring. Grip is great and probably also thanks to the Continental Premium Contact Seat Tires that I equipped on the G variant. Speaking of which, they are 17 inches in size and some of you have pointed out that these will be a bit more expensive to change. Now the engine is paired with a 7-speed CVT or what Toyota calls the new CVT where high speed driving is done via a gear while everything else is done via the belt. It's similar to a dual CVT and uh, 7 speeds means you get seven virtual gears. The G does get paddle shifters, but not really a necessary thing. I think you're fine in the E even without paddle shifters. I think you can cruise at a bit over a thousand RPM, 1,300, 1,400 RPM is possibly its most comfortable pace. There are three driving modes. You can choose between normal, eco and sport driving mode. As for ride comfort, well, things have been improved in the all new Vios. Not to say that the previous Vios was not a comfortable car. In fact, the old Vios was possibly the most comfortable B-segment saloon. Things have just been further improved and to add on to that, well, NVH has also been improved. Seats are much comfortable now, but if you'd really like to complain, well, they're probably positioned a little bit too high, but that does give you good all-around visibility. There are quite a handful of new safety features in the all-new Vios, so that kind of explains its more expensive retail price. These safety features include 
lane departure prevention, front departure alert, adaptive cruise control, lane keeping control, and auto high beam. Those last three features though are only available in the range topping G variant. To sum it up, I would say that the Toyota Vios sets a new benchmark for what a B segment saloon should be. I do quite like the way that it drives and it is perhaps the best looking Toyota Vios to date. By the time you watch this, the car would have already been launched and all of this is just a first impression for the time being. We will be putting out a full review of the 2023 Toyota Vios, so do stay tuned for that. And of course, as usual, if you'd like to know more about this car, you can head on to autobuzz.my. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a like, share and subscribe. Also remember to turn on notifications. If you didn't, please let us know why. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.